What we're demonstrating today is how we can use virtual reality to allow us to understand the design um, for assembly process, looking at how we can use software um, to speed up both the design aspects of uh, any new products or systems, but also using this to assess the ease of assembly, the ease of repair and maintenance, something which is really valuable to uh, our partners, our partner companies, and which is becoming more and more important in engineering uh, in general. We have here a model of a Trent uh, 800 jet engine, and we're viewing it in, um, in CAD on a screen in full three dimensions. We can use practically any 3D CAD model that we have been given. In fact, we haven't found a 3D format that we can't. And what we can do is we can interact with the model, pick parts out, look at the reinsertion, reassembly process, but then we can also look around our model and the model moves in relation to where the viewer is. So it's a completely tracked system. It becomes intuitive to the end user. And that means that you don't have to worry about going on an extensive training course to be able to use this as an engineer who wants to evaluate a design or uh, a process. In the AMRC, we use virtual reality in a num number of different scenarios. We can use it in the design stage where we want to evaluate the design of a particular component without actually having to go to the physical model so that we're ensuring that we're getting it right first time. Having said that, we can also use it further downstream in the development process. We can use it to understand primary assembly. We can go in and inspect uh, parts of the assembly, parts of the layout, so that we understand where parts go, where they have to fit, and actually then train people in doing that in the virtual world. Later on, we can look at repair and maintenance process where you've got associated assemblies and uh, processes all already in place and you've got to look at difficult part extraction. And finally, we are investigating with our partners the potential for um, using this as a remote support tool. At the moment, if someone has a problem half the world away, quite often you end up flying someone expensively out to give support. We've got the ability to actually fire up a 3D session across the world and talk them through the solution to their problem in real time in 3D. We have here a demonstration of how a non-expert user can actually come in to the system to be able to uh, pick up in more ways than one the CAD geometries to understand their space, their position, their design, inspect them in the virtual world and then look at how easily or difficult it would be to actually replace it with the design as it currently is. So I can pick up that fuel pump, I can look at the extraction paths and as it flashes that's telling me that I've got collisions with other parts of the uh, assembly and then we can look at how we can put it back in. If we knew we were going to have to replace that on a regular basis, we might actually want to change the design. So we can really use the, the repair process to drive the design process.